This is the main entrance to the civil engineering lab. And notice all around the lab we have uh, safety information posted as well as emergency and evacuation procedures listed. On the right here, we have the geotechnical engineering lab. It consists of two rooms. It'll be shown in a separate video. On the left here, we have a two-dimensional load frame. You can do tests like a reinforced concrete beam test. This particular beam is a 12 foot long beam. Students use it in their structural engineering uh, lab. Apply a load, measure displacement. They also measure uh, the cracking distribution and any damage that might occur. various storage throughout the lab in these cabinets. So, well, there's safety guidelines posted throughout the lab. Right here we have our materials lab, so-called our concrete infrastructure lab. This is where we store uh, a lot of materials we use for um, mixing concrete, uh, as well as some geotechnical materials. Uh, you'll notice um, it's uh, also a workspace where we do a lot of the uh, preparation of materials. We've got ovens in the back, we've got uh, tabletop shakers, scales everywhere. Um, as well as some specialized equipment used uh, for certain material tests. Here we have a one-dimensional frame capable of testing uh, elements in compression up to a thousand kips. We have a brace there so we can connect to various elements. We have a temperature controlled curing tank use this to cure various materials. Typically, uh, concrete materials would be used uh, in this tank. We have a one-dimensional universal testing machine. On the bottom, we can do compression tests. On the top, we can do tension tests. We also have various fixtures set up so that we can do bending tests um, if we just change those fixtures around. Uh, as it's set up, we can use it to test concrete cylinders. This next room, we have uh, our one dimensional shake table, uh, as well as our controller that controls all the actuator in the lot. 
We use a shape table to perform dynamic tests. Uh, this is used in our uh, structural dynamics class. We also have various uh, tabletop setups uh, that can be used in our structural analysis labs. So that we can compare small scale um, tabletop setups to the large scale tests that we showed earlier. This is our strong floor room. Uh, the floor is a four foot thick concrete slab with tie down points at every 18 inches on center. Uh, we can use this to attach specimens to the floor and test them under lateral forces. Uh, the basic setup that's shown here is to uh, test some uh, shear walls. We've got a hydraulic cylinder as well as a reaction frame uh, that we can use uh, to apply that lateral force. Uh, and again, in this case, to uh, timber shear wall. We have our uh, data acquisition, which we can use uh, you know, to collect data during these tests. In this case, we've got uh, various sensors attached and we can uh, record the data at high speed. Uh, we've also got uh, various storage for materials uh, that's used to build all these different test specimens. Some other tests that we've done uh, using this setup, uh, we've got a, a concrete slab where we've done a punching test. We react that uh, 